Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6214 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 20 moves to clear out 130 jelly. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. So there's a lot going on here. I'm just going to kind of list things off so I can get my head around it. First of all, we only have one yellow key on the board. We have to get that open. Presumably there's going to be, oh, well, these. We have to get these open because there's jelly underneath. And if we can, we get <laughs> a double-edged sword, wrapped candies, and ticking time bombs. Don't know what those are set at yet. Uh, so then we've got the key, we've got the sugar chest, we've got the licorice, we've got dark chocolate, we've got milk chocolate, we've got licorice locks, we have got toffee swirls, we've got rainbow twists, we've got cutouts, we've got frosting. I think that's all the bad things. And then uh, we do have a frog and some of the raft candies down here. I don't know how I'm going to make very many moves because I don't have any strategy at this point in time. If this is the only move I can make, there's no strategy involved. I have no idea how I'm going to capture that. I have to, hmm, I think I have to get the frog right away or because striped candies can't go through here. So this is definitely going to be the trickiest part, and especially because I can't really make any moves. Now there's a bit of strategy. I could put the green together to hit this, but I'm going to move the blue up, which will then also probably allow the green to come together, although maybe not. The green's probably going to slide off. But it's important to experiment and to know how the board is going to react. It didn't. It slid from this side. So good to know. We have to watch when there are these barriers here we have to understand it's going to affect how things flow on the board. I have no idea how to get through all of this. Well, if I can just snap one of these guys, then the whole thing comes tumbling down. But I have to be able to reach in there on one side or the other. And right now I have to play both sides because I can't keep making moves on one side. And there, sometimes I don't even have any moves available. Okay, so this is going to help to open up this dark chocolate. There we go. We're finally making some progress here, and then we're stopped again. Yeah, I can see this is going to be probably not just a hard level, but probably super hard or nightmarishly hard. It's going to be one where we just have to rely so heavily upon luck that if we don't get luck on the board... We'll just be struggling for a long time. I can get this gone, but it means d displacing that purple a little. But it's worth it just to kind of reach down here and find out what can happen. There we go. Now we've got wrapped, wrapped if it holds. That's going to open the frog and, and uncloak him from the chocolate and hopefully him, her, uh, feed her some of the, the color she needs. Yeah, we didn't even get to the key and that problem. I could do this. There's no way to match it with yellow, so it doesn't actually matter at this point in time what move I make. I was thinking if I could get this filled, I could move it up there at least to see that happen. I'm going to be stuck here for a while. If I can get some good luck in the beginning, or at least be able to move in the beginning in ways that I want to take out these areas, I can reach the frog more quickly and then capture that. And that's not the only thing I have to do. This is the most difficult part, but these corners, five layer thick toffee covered over in another layer of licorice lock on top of two layers of jelly I need to remove. So yeah, wish me luck on this one. I'll be back in just a bit. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share.
Okay, so I probably won't beat it this time because there's still so much work to be done. But I wanted to show you that's another approach. Wrapped, wrapped combo is enough to bridge that gap and see us through. This is looking a bit better. I've got a color bomb wrapped. The ticking time bombs are not an issue because they don't have enough turns to make them an issue. This is also going to fill the frog, of course. We've got all of that milk chocolate gone now, but these corners are just treacherous. All right, so my initial instinct is to just pick up this frog and move her into a corner. Should I, though, instead make a color bomb? I kind of think I should because the color bomb will remove one color and concentrate everything down and maybe give me another color bomb. I know I still have these licorice here. How did I not get that color bomb? Was it because it was with the frog? It could have been. Well, again, it's important for us to learn the board. I'd love to put these two together. It's not enough to get things done, is it? But moving the frog once is not enough to get things done either. I have to go with which, what is promising me the very most chaos. So I have to hope that not only does this open things up, but then it creates layer upon layer of wonderful thing. Not going to happen, but I got closer. So I thought that I would leave this as an example of another way to approach this board. All right, I'll be back hopefully with a win or at least more information very soon. Okay, we're getting there because now we've got quite a few moves uh, to take out some jelly, but we still have this awful corner here. So let's try to remove as much as we can. Unfortunately, that stripe didn't make it down there. I still have this opportunity. Oh, I wish this were just a bit lower. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it over to here. That'll strip off the wrappings. Unfortunately, it didn't leave me with the striped wrapped opportunity that I was hoping to use. But sometimes sacrifices need to be made here. Okay, we've got another color bomb coming down. When we get to this point, our advantage becomes that we only have four colors on the board. Once the board is opened, we can see the value now I do have to worry a little bit about the color bomb, but I don't think I have to worry much because again, when everything is opened up, it's easier. All right, so now we're in this situation. We've got two corners. This is the most difficult corner. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna place it on the thickest portion of toffee. That'll remove all five layers, plus take some of this out. And then this is where I should really just pay very careful attention to every single move I have. If I could fill this frog again, I could move her over to there, but then it's not done. We still have jelly underneath. I could make another wrapped. I could make a stripe that travels along the path. I'm going to go ahead and do this because it clears out the most. I could do a striped wrapped. I need to beat this frog up. I need to not just fill her a little bit like I've been doing. I need to just really punch her with a whole bunch of stuff. 
I'm not getting those combos right where I need them, am I? How can I bring these guys downward? I'm going to bring uh, hopefully everything downward. I didn't bring anything downward. <laughs> oh, but I'm punching the frog. Watch this. There she goes. There she goes. And now we've got color bombs there. That's the kind of thing I needed to have happen. Okay. I can make a stripe here, and I kind of like that. But do you know what? The stripe will happen if I just pick this up and move it over here. Okay, I think we got it. A tricky one. Uh, not as many attempts as I thought it would. And... The nice thing is there was this beautiful learning curve where the, the more I focused on getting in through here, the more easily I was able to achieve it. Uh, so things were getting closer and closer and closer until I was able to get this done. So wrapped, wrapped combo can take this out. The frog, of course, can take this out, this key. Not there now. Uh, a color bomb, color bomb combo, if you can manage to affect that, will take out the key. So those are your opportunities that I can think of for trying to collect that key to find success. It took between 20 and 25 tries, which isn't really that many for me com considering it's a hard level. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.